Welcome back out to the channel, everybody. If you haven't been here before, my name is Aaron. This is from the ground up RC. Hit that like, hit the subscribe button. Uh, we got new videos up every Wednesday. Right now we're building a pit. Sometimes we're out flying, stuff like that. So today we're gonna be working on uh, these fly wires here. So we did this side already. Uh, so I'm gonna kind of go go over what we're doing to master this side. What I was originally gonna do was, I was gonna use these Proctor Enterprise turnbuckles. Um, and then one of my buddies, he suggested using these McReeves connectors. Um, and he had a couple extra that he'd ordered for his soft with Camel. So if you guys wanna check out some of his stuff, give him a shout and I'll put a link to him up here somewhere but he does some really cool stuff so um so what we're doing is we're using uh this silver braze kit from alpha metals or alpha fry whichever it is um comes with that silver solder it's a uh or 56 percent silver so anyway it should be pretty strong um compared to the other stuff I've been using. Um, so first thing we had to do, because I was gonna use those other buckles, we gotta clearance that to make it to the hole. So I'll get the Dremel and we'll just put a uh, sanding disc on and just take that down and we'll check these ones up while we're at it. But these little tiny screws, the, um, the video I watched, the way I understood is you don't want any less than a quarter of an inch in that so you you can have it back in here more but you don't want it any less than that so I took this the nut and put it on there about a quarter of an inch and then I tighten this up here and that's the one end it's threaded there's another end and that's this one you can kind of see hopefully that there's no head on that screw and that's because it's in on this side what it is is this one's a smooth bore so that one can sit there and spin so you could put all your tension on this one so that makes one pair so one flying wire will have one on one end and one on the other all right so you see i've got those there and we got one up there and then what I'll do is I'll take my tape measure and I'll measure that from one screw to this one but it's kind of hard to do with the GoPro so I'll uh anyway I'll go ahead and get them measured and then I'll uh show measuring out the wire and uh cutting it on a time lapse Okay, so um, I got uh, I got 23 and 5 eighths off of that. So what I'll do is I'll come up this scale to 23 and 5 eighths, um, and I'll just lay it down on the end. So say it was 8 and 5 eighths, I'd lay it right there, and then I'll bring it over here and mark that with a sharpie. So I'll go ahead and uh, do that. So I like to lay it as flat as I can get it. Come over here, and then I'll hold it and pinch it, and then I'll just come over using a silver sharpie, and then I'll lay it back down on 23 and 5 eighths, and just confirm that I marked it the way I want it, and then I'll come over here.
So I'll take my flux, just put a little, did not need a lot, just like that. The way I've been doing this is I've just been taking a little piece of solder and I'll break it off and get some flux on it too. So I'll light this. Just kind of melt that, melt the flux. And then I'll take that little bit of solder. I'll lay it down right there on that wire. And then I'll heat the screw side of this thing. You can see the flux start melting off. And watch that solder piece disappear. As soon as it disappears, be real quick here. You pull your heat out. And that should be a well soldered end. Well, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw, go ahead and drop a comment down below. Let us know. Hit the like button and the subscribe if you haven't already. We've got videos up every Wednesday.